Hey Pillars and welcome back to another Cycling Tech Review, a review that I'm super, super excited to actually make because this is something that is long overdue in the world of cycling. Now, CyberSight for full transparency sent me these glasses for review, but I'm allowed to share my real opinions and just give you guys my overall thoughts on these glasses and where do I see these actually being used? What's the evolution of this technology in cycling? Uh, so we're going to dive into all that. So before I jump into the specs of the glasses, I just want to show you their Kickstarter because in about a month, it will be officially live to order. So I just want to show you they already have $454,000 pledged, which is a great it shows a lot of other cyclists want this to be a success. And when they reached out to actually get me a unit to test, I was very, very surprised because for a long time, you just assume that glasses, especially with anything, you know, cycling related, even running, you know, eventually all the data that we have either in a watch or our cycling computers would be able to get uh, put into glasses, especially as technology, you know, improves and things can, things can get smaller. So it's not so bulky. That's why even the weight that I have, this is 42 grams, is crazy because the glasses I currently have are only 10 grams lighter. So on your head, actually, it doesn't feel bulky or heavy at all. So we're gonna look at the Kickstarter. I just wanna show you all the things that they claim. So basically what they're trying to do is eliminate the fact that you don't want to look down at your cycling computer and potentially end up in a situation where you actually crash and they're trying to put all the important data from your cycling computer into your glasses so that you're able to maintain clear vision while seeing all your stats so it's just to prevent any environmental risks and i'm not going to lie like this is something that in the evolution of cycling and cycling tech it just does make sense if you think of it if you're looking down all it takes is if you're in a group ride a touch of wheels you could go down you are looking down at your cycling computer you hit a pothole that you weren't paying attention to these are all valid points and you know a lot of cyclists myself included are traditionalists so it is kind of you know weird being like huh uh yeah i'm okay with my cycling computer so actually having this and testing it I do see a world where this goes hand in hand. So we're gonna keep looking. It has a real time HUD display. So like I was saying, all the stats, heart rate, speed, cadence, you can include that all here. So all your stats that you see on your cycling computer are able to be put into the HUD and it actually is very comfortable and you actually see it very clearly. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not fake. This actually does work. And looking here, we have multi-device connection. So by Bluetooth, you can connect it to your watch, your phone, and to your cycling computer. I will get into that also because there has been an evolution where it was just connecting to your phone, uh, all your devices, and that was getting transmitted to the glasses where now they're having integration with your Garmin, for example. It has to be one of their listed compatible devices. And then the information for a serious riders are getting sent from your head unit to here. So it's even more accurate. Uh, so there's no latency issues and stuff like that. It also has navigation features. It's ultra light, it claims 39 grams, but you know, mine is 42 grams, eight hours battery life. The battery life has been holding up pretty nice. Body alerts, which I think they're, you know, talking about heart rate and then proactive AI advices. And that, that's based on training like cadence or speed or heart rate or power. So as I was talking before with the glasses, it does have a HUD system where you basically see all this. This is not mumble jumble. I'll actually put my uh, experience it's just hard to film it to get the perfect angle, but it absolutely looks like this. It's green and you can see all your real time stats that you're doing in front of your eyes and it actually moves with you while keeping your field of vision very, very clear. So that's what it looks like. Um, it also has the ability to be paired with a rear tail light, smart light. We know, you know, a bunch of companies have been doing it, especially Garmin Varias. They, they actually partnered up with uh, Magic Shine. That's the one that they promote. And they also have Magin's rear tail light as well. And it actually shows you on the side when a truck is uh, uh, coming up on your side. So, you know, if you're used to using the Garmin or your cycling computer where the, you get the alert, you're getting the alert in real time with your glasses on. So yet again, minimizing the need to look down at your cycling computer. That's the whole point of these glasses is just basically making sure that your eyes are staying on the road, which yet again, even though we're purists and we don't like change, I don't think anyone can disagree and say that's silly because you're telling me, oh wait, I can actually just look at all the stats I'm looking down at, but keep them straight and potentially not miss a pothole, touch a wheels. Like no one can debate that. And like I said, I'm, I'm a pretty purist. I'm still riding rim brakes and I'm agreeing with that. So that's just a fact. And it's something that's going to keep 
coming as you know technology improves and i think the reason why it's taking so long for these glasses to even come out in the first place is because the technology to have this before let's say a couple of you know five ten years ago the glasses would be so bulky so with technology being able to put things in smaller uh sizes that's why these glasses can be so light uh they also sent a helmet as well i'll play a clip of that it's a smart helmet uh lumos is the company it allows you to show uh drivers where you're turning so left and right rear tail lights yet again something that you know i usually don't have to worry about because i cycle pretty early so it's very well lit but if you're riding later in the day this is a helmet that potentially can help you and the fact that it connects to the glasses obviously is just a cool feature to ensure that you're safe and you're making sure that you're um showing drivers behind you where you're turning now something that cybersight is uh developing is uh integrated ai so it says here it can analyze your stats in real-time data gives you timely reminders warnings this is something i would think is great for beginners obviously if you're an experienced racer uh, or have a cycling coach you don't really need to worry about that just because you pretty much have very structured training to begin with now this is something super super interesting that i want to touch upon too is the seamless connectivity and customization so it has bike computer smart watches and uh, ra uh, radar tail lights now this is something that's ongoing they're still developing uh let's say all the um, integration aspects as users are getting feedback it hasn't even officially launched yet so there's a little fine tweaks so before you know you would connect it to your phone and from the phone you would connect all you know bluetooth compatible devices like speed sensor blue um your uh, power meter and then that is what's being relayed to the glasses but even when i was talking with cybersight in certain regions where you're going to mountains you might lose that connectivity with your phone so it's nice that if you have a cycling computer which you already have that data can be linked to the glasses so that you have accurate data while training so this shows you all the um, compatible there's also another chart that shows you all the devices that's compatible with and i'll show you here what that actually looks like so in terms of if you know garmin um depending on what segment computer i'm you know familiar with garmin as in terms of having these types of third-party integrations on the iq app you're actually able to download uh this app that allows you to connect the, the glasses to it seamlessly now pairing it to their app the setup is smooth it connects over bluetooth 5.3 to heart rate sensors power meters cadence sensors smart helmets which right now is only lumos and rail taillights as well plus it works with ios android apple watches and specific bike computers inside the app you can fully customize your dashboard picking exactly what stats you want to see on the HUD. Also, there's notifications that are supported from your phone, like text messages or calls, but they're off by default to avoid distraction. But if you want text or calls mid-ride, you can turn them on manually. It looks pretty much like this. It's just green overlay, and then it shows all your stats. And this is exactly what it looks like. So even with smart navigation, you'll never miss a critical turn. It actually kind of shows you on both sides when to turn or what's coming up and i will get into my thoughts on where i think that is just gonna be crazy and i'll give you a little preview pro cycling going super super fast you know shoulder to shoulder that's way better than looking down at your computer down to descent so we'll get into that they say you can use it for multiple sports but right now we're focusing on cycling and then here is the integration so it's compatible with everything as i mentioned before the claimed weight here is 38 for me it was 42 so slight discrepancy there eight hour battery life polarized lenses that are able to swap out also so if you look here at the glasses you have the part that is actually the hud and then you have the part that's just you know the chromatic glasses all the data here you know we can nerd out about and all the data here as well that like these are all the features you have so left and right balancing like everything you would expect from your cycling computer there they have integration for them comparing it to their competitors so we don't have a built-in speaker here built-in camera as well so it's just basically you know your second computer doesn't have that as well yet maybe they put the J jbl speaker in there um but basically there's all these different packs that you can get and all these different add-ons now with some overlay of me riding with the glasses on i'll share my thoughts so cybersight in my opinion is not trying to kill and get rid of the bike computer it's not trying to replace it overnight you know what it's doing is it's showing us the first real glimpse of where cycling performance could go and i think we all could agree should go because when you list out the pros versus the cons you know there's more pros in my opinion than cons if the weight was anything heavier then that would be a major con i don't think 10 extra grams 
is, you know, a deal breaker, in my opinion, maybe if it was 50 grams, 60 grams, you know, that's pretty heavy on the head, but it's in the sweet spot, in my opinion, for uh, weight. Now, the biggest factor uh, when it comes to cycling is safety. And, you know, with cycling computers, with navigation, uh, new, new riders, beginners that are not so confident with their bike handling skills, the fact that you're even reducing the time that they look down versus what they're looking in front, and even when it comes to cornering or any crash, it's distraction that leads to errors. So even though, in my opinion, the biggest strength of CyberSight is being paired with a cycling computer, at least at this point in time, and when you when you think of that, you just have to imagine that to go from a cycling computer to no cycling computer, that's a big a big change. Where I think an integration is very smart. And I think it makes sense too, because even for myself, the radar light, why ever since I started riding one, when I first saw, uh, you know, rear radar lights, I was like, ah, that's a waste. You can just look over your shoulder. Now it's like an added safety feature where I know a car is coming behind me. Plus I will look just to verify, but it's so accurate that you get pretty comfortable. I'm just not saying you should trust it blindly, but it makes riding, you feel safer because you generally can prepare. If you see that, screen going red, you know, to go a little bit further to the inside of the shoulder versus the outside. So that's something that slowly took adoption and over four or five years, a lot more riders ride with a rear tail light, a radar light. So I think the same thing here, where if you can decrease the amount of time that you're looking down and you can increase your safety, you know, on group rides where I'm like, Oh, hell, hell, how many Watts are we doing? And I'm looking down versus I can just keep my eyes straight looking at the wheels in front of me while I see my power, which is the main thing I focus on fast group rides. To me, that's a no brainer. And of course, if you can afford for the, the cost of the glasses, which it's funny enough, you know, you have brands like Oakley that are charging 300 euros for glasses and they don't include this. So I'll get the price here. I think right now they have an early bird special on Kickstarter and it's 249. Uh, yeah, 279 is what's claimed. Uh, versus the full MSRP, which is 459 So $180 off, huge in my opinion, where I think these glasses will continue to make a big dent, it will be in for beginners, for intermediate, and for advanced. And I'll tell you why. For beginners, not having to look down consistently when their bike handling skill is bad. Of course, having these glasses, if you can reduce it by 30%, 40%, a lot less crashes. When you think of also beginner racers, a lot of the time it's just poor bike handling skills and they're, they're, kind of, they're focused on their power, they're focused on their heart rate, they're trying to make sure that they don't get dropped, that they're in their zones. So the fact that you can have this and reduce that overall time looking down, to me, yet again, no brainer. For fast group rides, for intermediate riders, beginner riders in group rides when they're getting comfortable wheel to wheel, minimizing looking down, minimizing looking at the route, oh, when are we turning, when are, when are we doing that? Just smart, it's just smart. And then obviously, at, I would say this has the biggest potential at the, the World Tour professional stage. Just if you think of it, it's the same idea, just uh, higher risk. Meaning that if a beginner could benefit from it for, for the fact that they have poor handling skills, a pro could benefit from it too because pros still crash. Because if you have 100 you know, riders on the road, all bunched up, you look down for one second to check something, to check if you're alert to eat or something along those lines, boom, you crashed. So I think where you know, I'm, I'm not going to be biased and just say, yeah, CyberSight, get rid of your second computer, chuck that in the garbage. This is the only thing you need with the phone app. I don't agree with that. I think it's going to be a small, small step evolution where you pair this with a cycling computer. If you're a serious writer, if not, then yeah, you basically don't need to buy this. You can just get the glasses. I would say if you're a beginner, beginner, avid cyclist, then in that situation, sure. But if you're an av uh, like a medium competitive to competitive rider, this is the game changer. Uh, this goes hand in hand with this. And that's why I'm gonna still be testing this moving forward with my Garmin. Now to wrap up the video, I genuinely think this is something that was just bound to happen in cycling, especially cycling tech. You know, this is something where you're minimizing extra aero real estate on your handlebars for all the aero people watching, and you already have glasses on anyway, so it's not like you're adding on something. If you really think of it, eventually through iterations of this and the industry and the tech going towards glasses, smart glasses like this. Yeah, we could very much live in a world where your cycling computer very much is your glasses because your phone, you're always gonna have your phone. If you really think of this, you know, cycling computer, glasses, and your phone right now, which one could you live without? If this was able to do everything this could do, 
It's definitely, you could live without this and you just have your phone and you would have your glasses. Now, where technology is right now, that will take some time, right? Because like I said, using your phone as, as you know, even for GPS, it drains the battery a lot. So from my experience, it drained the battery a lot. So this integration right now makes sense, but as the technology keeps getting better, we will see most likely a big decrease in this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It, like I said, it, it really depends because this has better satellite capabilities and phones. So if you're like, I'm training in the mountains, if you're doing, you know, 1500 meters in a day, it might be hard for your signal to, to stay consistent. And when you're doing intervals and serious training, that's why I, I think basically it's like a whole market and it's kind of hard to even estimate what's going to happen because there's so many variables. But I like the fact that Cybersight is at least pushing the innovation on that. Even though Cybersight sent me these glasses, regardless, I loved the fact I was able to test these and actually see where the cycling industry, and usually, you know, like I said, I'm most most of the time skeptical. And this time I was still skeptical, but when I got them and I turned them on for the first time and I saw the HUD display, I was like, okay, I get it. This this is the right step. So I'm gonna keep testing them out. Uh, if you wanna check, check uh, CyberSight out and uh, the Kickstarter, then I will leave uh, the link in the description for their early bird pricing. And if you guys have any questions uh, or any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this first look and short review of the glasses. There are still going to be upgrades that are being made. It's not officially, officially, officially released. So there's going to be minor tweaks, but at least like anything cycling tech related, at least we're moving forward. And it's not just the same old, same old glasses are a huge thing in cycling that needed a revamp. And I'm happy we actually have a company like Cybersight getting that done. So if you guys did enjoy the video, smash a like, subscribe to the channel and until the next one, keep on pedaling.